Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And I have my Google Pixel 2 XL right here because I just installed the latest operating system, Android 8.1 Oreo, should be pushed to your Pixel devices pretty soon. But I wanna talk about everything that's new, go over all the changes. This isn't a major update, it's only 8.0 to 8.1. But there are some changes, so I wanna go ahead and show them off. As a quick side note, I also have a video on Android 8.0 Oreo. I'll link to that down below. Also, more to come on the Pixel 2, so be sure to click that subscribe button. As I said, this is the Pixel 2 XL. I wanna give you a closer look at that black and white variant with the orange button on the side. Anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys I am now on Android 8.1 Oreo. I just manually installed the official update. Go to System. About Phone, Android version 8.1.0. You can quickly tap on it to get to that Easter egg, which is of an Oreo right here, which is updated. However, you can still get to that octopus by pressing and holding, and there is that floating octopus still available. Also within these system settings is where you can find gestures with your active edge, swipe for fingerprint, and a few other gestures that are all in that system settings. The pull down notification bar got a bit of an update. It is now transparent. I can give you a closer look at that and you can see that wallpaper through or any widgets that are underneath. So it is slightly transparent. However, you can kind of change that. So let's go ahead and change our wallpaper real quick. Um, I'm going to find one that is darker. So here's in the shadows. So let's set this wallpaper. I'm just gonna do it on both. And once it's set, I'm gonna pull down that status bar and check it out. It is different. It is still a little bit transparent. You can still kind of see through it, but it's black. So it is changing based on whatever tint or coloring of your wallpaper you do have. And that's the same on the lock screen as well. Pulling it down, you'll see it is completely dark now. Also worth noting, the coloring responds to whatever that home screen wallpaper coloring is. You'll notice my dark wallpaper on the lock screen doesn't change and it just is themed based on the home screen wallpaper. Also worth noting, the navigation bars down at the bottom will dim now. So you'll see them get a little bit lighter after using them and then once you press them again, they will get a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna give you a closer look at that. Let's go into the settings app. And this is within any specific app or anytime you touch the notifications. And then you'll see if I go back home, it lights them back up. And they will just begin to dim almost instantly. It may be a few second delay. The ambient display got an update. So when you are on your lock screen, you'll notice that it shows the date. And also if you have a specific alarm set, it will notify you of when that alarm is going to be. You also notice in Android system, there's an updated Oreo icon right there. I know the Pixel 2 has had this, however, with 8.1, it brings the new power and restart option, which is a quick ways away from the power button. And if you press the restart button, it has a splash screen showing that restart. And finally, a couple minor changes. First of all, the beer and hamburger emojis got an update. The cheese used to be below the patty on the burger, but now it's above it. And I think they just redesigned the beer emoji. So absolutely nothing uh, too crazy there. But I also wanna go ahead and jump into settings and scroll all the way down, go back into system. And there's reset options now. So you don't just have to reset all data. You can reset your app press preferences. So there's a list of all of those preferences. And then you also have reset Wi-Fi, mobile, and Bluetooth. So those are the three that can be reset as well. And overall, that's it. That would be the Android 8.1 Oreo update shown off on my Google Pixel 2 XL. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe as well. I would really appreciate it. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.